Hello, everybody. Welcome into your Talking Pittsburgh headlines on this Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. It's a lot of 23s. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you're having a great day. Another snow day here in southern Wisconsin. But things are improving uh, hour by hour as the storm system finally moves out of the area. And I'm still mad at the groundhog. Let's jump into that forecast from the National Weather Service, Milwaukee Sullivan. And as always, I remind you, please check back on the forecast as things have been changing uh, pretty frequently on the storm. And uh, maybe some of these uh, winter weather uh, storm warnings and advisories may have changed. What are the concerns today? Well, this morning, the main concern is uh, patches of freezing drizzle. The back end of the system will feature some light to moderate snow roughly from uh, Lone Rock to Port Washington and to the north. And that's where you can see the winter storm warning. Areas uh, further south may see some lingering freezing drizzle and sleet with the back end of the system and more to the south, uh, uh, little to nothing uh, as far as it goes there. Uh, but either way, we have our uh, advisories going at least till 12 p.m. Uh, in our area today, 9 a.m., uh, the advisory stop there for the southeast portion of Wisconsin. We also uh, have a timing on this as well. Uh, the storm uh, ending uh, widespread snow and mixed precip should be ending here uh, very soon uh, as you're watching this uh, this morning into the afternoon. Temperatures by noon will be uh, right at freezing in our area here. Uh, so uh, we should uh, see some melting uh, with temperatures uh, greater than 32 degrees. But that's uh, not going to last for long as we have uh, cold temperatures coming in for uh, tomorrow. We also still have wind uh, as well with wind gusts in our area around 20 today. And yes, like I said, the cold temperatures, it's going to get cold after uh, today. Tomorrow we're looking uh, by 9 a.m. in the Madison area, we're looking at a high of 12 degrees. So. I say try to get this stuff shoveled off as best you can uh, while it is. It is already hard enough to, to uh, shovel off. Better off getting it before it completely freezes down and you'd be chipping at ice. So do what you can to uh, shovel that off. That's my recommendation uh, for the weather. All right, let's talk about uh, some closures here. Uh, we did have a delayed uh, opening uh, today for City Hall. City Hall uh, and the, uh, well, City Hall uh, was going to be opening up at 10 a.m. today and the library will be opening up at noon today. That's Thursday, February 23rd. The Fitchburg Senior Center, though, remains closed. And what does that mean? Well, let's take a look here at the graphic. Uh, the Fitchburg Senior Center is closed for, for the day. That's because of the Oregon School District. They follow the Oregon School District. Uh, if, if the Oregon School District goes, they're closed. Or uh, if the City Hall closes, uh, they can uh, decide if they're going to close or not close. Anyway, they have a winter weather policy available for you online. Uh, but that means no meal delivery, Tai Chi, uh, casual quilting, line dancing, phonic workshops, uh, shooters had bingo, pickleball, ballroom base, all of that is closed today. And uh, we'll have uh, some makeups on uh, some of those programs. You can check with the Fitchburg Senior Center for more information on that. Also, the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County is closed today. It says here, for the safety of all of our staff members, all Boys and Girls Club locations, offices, and programs are closed today, uh, the 23rd, due to the continuing severe weather. Badger Prairie Needs Network is opening up today at 11 a.m. through 6.30 p.m. Volunteer orientation will be held in the Cachetta Center as scheduled from 1.30 to 3 p.m. if you were a part of that. Or else please use caution as you uh, travel into the Badger Prairie Needs Network. But they are opening up again from 11 a.m. today to 6.30 p.m. Turning our attention to other headlines, uh, the Dane County Public Health sharing out this uh, information on uh, getting alerts when there are overdose spikes in the area. It says here we watch uh, hospital and EMS data that shows uh, expedited increase or spikes in drug overdoses. If we see a spike, we send out an overdose spike alert. These alerts save lives by quickly sharing what we know and linking to resources. You can learn more and sign up for these through Public Health Madison and Dane County. The website is on your screen. And finally, Better Business Bureau has the top 10 tips to avoid scams. And they're pretty easy, right? Got to get reminders here. Never send money via gift card or wire transfer to somebody uh, that you haven't met. Avoid clicking on links and opening attachments, unsolicited emails. Don't believe everything you see. Double check your online purchases. Use extreme caution when dealing with anyone you've met online. Check out BBB for more resources.